Well, good morning, everyone. This is your English teacher, Mr. Ismail. Welcome back to Ismail's English Grammar Classes. Uh, in our grammar classes, we were concentrating towards uh, the voices. Whereas in the last two videos, I have sent uh, the complete information related to the active voice, passive voice, the formulas we have discussed. Then again, some of the examples we have noticed, the examples which are related to the interrogative sentence. Suppose if the question is there in the active voice, that is the interrogative sentence while changing into passive voice, interrogative to interrogative, in which form it is going to change it out, that we have noticed. Then again, uh, we have noticed about the future tenses, certain examples we have noticed. Then past tenses, certain examples we have noticed. Whereas in today's class, so we are going to get connected with uh, some random examples. The examples, it may be related to the uh, present voice, present tense, or the past tense, or the future tense. So, random voice examples we are going to concentrate. So, those examples, uh, let us sort it out one by one, are all around eight examples are there. Then, in again, in the next class, of course, I mean to say in tomorrow's class, uh, specifically we are going to concentrate towards uh, the, uh, like as a, uh, uh, you know, interactive questions type that we will go notice. Then again, we are going to notice about. Uh, uh, the transitive form of a verb which cannot be changed out, how it will not change, many things are there which we can concentrate. So let's have a glance towards the example number one. Uh, Ravi ate six chapatis at dinner. Okay. Ravi ate six chapatis at dinner. This is what the question which is being given to us. In an activized discussion with we have to change it out into passive voice. So first of all, we have to understand it is in which tense. The rule number one is to understand the tense of the sentence. So Ravi ate six chapatis at dinner. So what are the circumstances to which we can understand the statement's uh, tense? So here, eat, it's a V1. Eight, V2 we can call, eaten, V3 it is. So out of all these three, we should have to take this example, A it is mentioning in a sense, obviously it is in the V2 form. V2 form in a sense, V2 only we can get in the simple past tense. So definitely this example it is there in the simple past tense. So from simple past tense to passive, if I want to change it out, it is going to be in the past continuous tense. How I can change? First, let me take an object at dinner. At dinner, how many chapatis? That we will notice here. Six chapatis. See? Or you can take rotis or whatever. Now, the form. as for the formula wise, past continuous tense helping verb we have to take. What are the helping verb of the past continuous tense? Was or were. So, at dinner, six chapatis were because six in a sense is a plural form. So, therefore, where we have to go, six chapatis were eaten, eat it, eaten by Ravi. So, first object, then again, we should have to go with the helping verb. After the helping verb, V3 form, after the V3 form, by as a conjunction, then at last, subject. So as per the rule wise, the sentence is right itself. Let's go with the second example. Beautiful giraffes roam the savanna. So first we need to take the object here. Here when we are changing it into passive wise. But before moving ahead, let us understand it is in which tense. Okay. So when we are going to concentrate towards the tense, then I can say that this tense it is there in the Simple present tense. So when we are changing it out into passive, it's going to become the savanna. Savanna is with three form we should take roamed by by the beautiful. Giraffe. Okay. Beautiful giraffes. So here the beautiful it is standing for the subject. Then again, verb it is there, and at last we can find there is an object. So when we are going to change it out into passive wise, simple present to it will convert into present continuous. Let's move towards the example number three. It is there in the present continuous tense itself. 
we are going to watch movie tonight so this sentence it is explaining about the present and future form it means what the statement i am expressing in the present tense itself but this statement clearly related to the future formation sir so because of that reason this type of a sentence we can call it out as a present future form sir though the situation or the conversation it may be taking place in the present time itself but this conversation it is related to the future okay so then this sentence it is there in the present future so let us change it out into present future tense of a into passive voice when we are changing it will become a again present continuous to present continuous plus being but here we are not adding being in place of that term because it is in the future form so therefore we can add a to be okay let's go with that a movie a movie is going to be here the verb is watch my dear friends watch is standing for the verb formation so because after the two form we can find it is a verb formation so therefore watch a movie is going to be because this going if you are thinking that go it is standing as a verb sir so why can't we take it as a verb in a sense the go why can't we take it out in a sense sir here the clear information in one sentence itself two different verbs are there one is called go and another one is a watch so when we are thinking about the present and future matter so then this going it is being considering in the present and future but it is not uh, taking we cannot take it out as in the form of a may verb but we can consider it out as in the form of a helping verb also or else inactive verb we can call or we can call it as a inactive verb so which is the active verb here so active verb is a watch fine so a movie is going to be watch watch by us tonight okay see a movie is going to be watched by us tonight let's take the example number 4 i ran the obstacle course in record time i ran the obstacle course in record time so let us understand that it is in which tense again run ran run run ran run when we are taking this v1 v2 v3 then obviously ran stands in the v2 form so in a sense this is there in the simple past tense so when we are changing it into active voice to passive voice simple past it will convert into past continuous tense so let's go ahead with the examples only see the obstacles so first let us take this the obstacles the obstacle course was because it is in the past continuous tense so past continuous tense helping verb is was or were the obstacle course was run by me because i it is there so i it will change it out into me run by me in recorded time in recorded time or in record time we can call it out so let's go to the example number 5 the crew paved the entire stretch of highway so here you can understand the pave again we do the crew paved the entire stretch of highway so let's go with the example the entire stretch of highway was paved by the creek so here the entire stretch of highway let us take this complete sentence in the form of a object so first we are going to take the object so then the object is standing it is being completely taken by the word or the sentence 
called the entire stretch of the highway. It is in one form. Then next, after the object, we should go with the helping verb. So here the helping verb was I have taken because this sentence in active voice it is there in the simple past. I am converting it into past into passive voice. It will become past continuous. So therefore, the entire stretch of the highway was paved. 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 Paved only. So paved. By B3 form to B3 form it is taken, paved by the cream. Okay, the entire the cream paved the entire the stretch of highway while changing into passive. It's going to be like the entire stretch of high of highway was paved by the cream. So let's go with the example number six. The mother read the novel in one day. Mother read the novel. In one day. So instead of read, if it becomes a reads. Instead of read, if you are taking this form or this verb in the form of a reads, if you are taking it out, then definitely I must say it is in the simple present. Simple present to present continuous it could become. But right now it is there in the simple past. So this simple past tense, if I am changing it out into the passive voice, it will become past continuation form only. So let's go with the the mother read the novel in one day. So here let me take the object first. So object is a novel. Okay, the novel or the novel, what we can call the novel was read by mother. Mother in one day. Okay, the novel was read by mother in one day. That we can that we can take it out. So when we are moving towards uh, the seventh example, let's concentrate that I will clean the house every Saturday. I will clean the house every Saturday. So let's move ahead with this example because this and this now we can understand that this example is there in the future tense, a simple future tense. So when we are changing this example from future uh, active to passive voice, simple future to it will become future continuous. So then the example will be every Saturday, Saturday the house will be will be cleaned by me. Okay. Then the last example. Raj painted entire the house. Raj painted entire the house. So when we are moving ahead with the active to passive form. So first let us understand again it is also there in the simple past tense. When we are changing it out into simple past to uh, passive wise, it will convert into past continuous itself. So let's go ahead with that. Entire the house. First, let us take the object. So here the object information is nothing but entire the house. So after the object, we should go with the helping verb. Okay. Entire the house was painted by. The Raj. Okay. Hope you are understanding the things. In case if you are having any doubt or the difficulties and all that, all the things so we will discuss it out. Uh, just text me some of the messages, whatever the things you are not understanding, I will clarify the things to you. Uh, whereas in tomorrow's class, we are going to concentrate towards some, uh, the questioning, the questioning words or the questioning words, which is going to be get begin. Then we are changing it out into uh, passive wise, how it can be changed, that all the things we shall discuss. Uh, then afterwards, we shall discuss about the transitive to intransitive form of verbs, which cannot be changed, why it will not change, what are the reasons are there that we will see. Then again, interrogative type of questions, like as questioning, as I said, interrogative type of questions. Uh, then again, uh, imperative type of questions, how it can be changed out from active to passive. In detail, we shall study in the next class. Till then, please stay safe. Thank you.